to my office in Uluwatu. If you've seen any of the videos before, I have another office in Changu. But when the swell starts marching in, in about the 15 to 20 foot range, I move the office from Changu an hour and a half away to right here in Uluwatu. And this is what I'm forced to look at. If you can check this out really quick for me. This is my corner office, and I've been doing this for the last two years. And I sit here with my laptop, I got my plug-in right there, and if it gets a little too hot, I move into the cubicle office right over there so I can watch the, uh, the whole scene unfold into the water. You gotta be able to maximize your time, right? You can't be just a bum your whole life, but if you can, then, you know, that's cool too. But I always have to plan it around when the swells are happening, but also getting my work done. And the next stop is out into the Uluwatu lineup. The pictures will tell, but I think I just rode the biggest wave of my life successfully here. Well, was, I guess the pictures will tell, but from what I remember, the biggest one that successfully rode was back in 2009, and I think this was bigger and better. Yeah, holy cow. So freaking good. Well, it was definitely the biggest of 2017 so far. And here's how it went down. It was at nine and a half feet at 19 seconds. If you're not a surfer, you have no idea what that means. If you're a surfer, you do know what that means. And I did catch the biggest wave of my life, and I also wiped out on the biggest wave and got crushed. But the one thing that I actually got to do that I've never done before is surf padang padang. This is what it's like to get sucked down and it was the water after a good spill. So now I'm heading down to Padang Padang. And what I'm going to share with you here also in the video is one key thing. Keep some money with you because you got to be able to buy a Vintang and you also got to get a motorbike ride back to Uluwatu. So stay tuned for that. Get washed up at Padang Padang. At least you got a Vintang. Always remember money. But now I don't have any money to get a uh, motorbike ride, but hey, I got a tasty Vintang, so it looks like it's going to be hitchhiking time here. Next time, which probably next week, the swell is supposed to be bigger, and I'm gonna pack a little bit more money, and I'm gonna be prepared to be surfing Padang Padang after an incredible outside, our outside corner of the water session. This is how you get back to Blue Point on the way. It's been a fun one with the water. I'm packed up, got my unstoppable family helmet, and I'm ready to go. We're going to see you next week for the next swell.